Hey everybody, what's up? It's now a newbie back again with yet another video, and today I will be unboxing Blade Runner The Final Cut. Now, um, there are like three different releases of this movie. I think this is like the, um, certainly the most recent uh, edition of this. I'm not sure if this is the most definitive version, but you know, I decided to grab it. I have not seen this movie yet, so I'm looking forward to checking it out. And uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and open uh, open this up. Not sure if this is available in uh, 4K or not, but you know, I saw this at a pretty good price at a Barnes and Noble um, for Blu-ray, so I figured I might as well grab it. You know, not everything has to be in 4K. Although I would love it if everything was in 4K, but unfortunately, that means I probably also have to quadruple. Uh, quadruple the space in my Plex server if, you know, everything in my library was going to be in 4K anyways. Alright. Let's see here. Opening this up. Here we go. So, yeah, this is the art. You, you've probably seen it a million times if you, you know, look for this. Um, as I have. <laughs> um, one thing I am noticing is that I'm not sure why. And I don't know if you can tell, but the art here is like a little wrinkly. I'm not sure if it was just like this, it was just like a little too, um, you know, they made the paper be a little bit too long or something. But it's just like the art is a little bit wrinkly. I've seen this happen before on discs, discs um, but I'm not sure exactly what causes it. Um, but you know, it's not. I'm not too mad about that. The art itself is rather nice, pretty cool, pretty cool. You don't see a ton of art like this um, nowadays, unfortunately, in my opinion. Um, you know, the, uh, Bullet Train movie tried to get close, but didn't really work, in my opinion. <laughs> um, and we've got the, uh, the back here, you know, you've got, you know, the little, um, you know, synopsis of the film. We've got some, some nice images here. Um, you know, explaining that it's, like, in 1080. We know, it's a Blu-ray. <laughs> um, and yeah, you know, all, like, the little credits down here, the corporate logos. Took a look at all of those things. And, wow, this is such a plain release. I was, I was expecting something a little bit nicer than this. But this is about as plain as it gets. There's, like, nothing in here. Um, yeah, just the, even just, like, the, the, the Blu-ray disc, too. There's, like, there's literally nothing. There's, like, nothing. There's nothing to talk about because there's nothing on the inside. It's a little bit, um, unfortunate, in my opinion. Now, maybe... I think this is this this copy has been out for a while. Let me see. Oh wow, here's the trademark, 2007. So there are some older discs, and I noticed this in my unboxing of um, you know multiple other movies, including um, American Psycho, the Blu-ray version, as well as The Anchorman. That there are just some extremely plain releases, and I think they probably came out at around the same time. But just you open the box up, and it's extremely underwhelming. There's like nothing on the inside except for the disc. Um, so there's not really that much art to, like, go back to the, the you know, the container for, um, uh, to, and, like, look for. So that's kind of, you know, disappointing, but at the end of the day, I got the movie. I'll be able to check out the movie. I've heard really good things about this. It's popular, apparently. So, <laughs> so, looking forward to checking out the movie, uh, finally. But, um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and, um, yeah, I'll see you guys in another one of my, uh, videos. If you want to see another one of my videos. <laughs>